Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the introduction about propositions. Let us define first what are propositions. A proposition is a declarative sentence that is either true or false, but not both. If a proposition is true, then its truth value is true which is denoted by T. Otherwise, its truth value is false and is denoted by F. Therefore, what we need to remember on this is that all propositions are declarative sentences. With this, let us have some examples in determining whether a statement is a proposition or not. Determine whether each statement represents proposition or not. For the first one, Mindanao is an island in the Philippines. Now remember that a statement is usually represented by a small letter. For this example, the statement is represented by small letter P. This is a declarative sentence and Mindanao is an island in the Philippines. Hence, P is a true proposition. Statement Q. Find a number which divides your age. This is an imperative sentence and so it is not a proposition. Statement R. My seatmate will get a perfect score in the logic exam. The statement is a declarative sentence although the truth value will only be known after the exam. We know that it can only be either true or false, but not both. Hence, R is a proposition. Statement S Welcome to the Philippines. Statement S is an exclamatory sentence, and so it is not a proposition. Statement T 3 plus 2 equals 5 Obviously, 3 plus 2 equals 5 is a true mathematical sentence, but is it a declarative sentence? Yes. To see this, note that you may read it as the sum of 3 and 2 is 5, which is clearly a declarative sentence. Therefore, T is a true proposition. Compound Propositions a compound proposition is a proposition formed from simpler propositions using logical connectors or some combination of logical connectors. Some logical connectors involving propositions P and or Q may be expressed as follows. Not P, P and Q, P or Q, if P then Q. Given that, P and Q are propositions. A proposition is simple if it cannot be broken down any further into other component propositions. Let us take some examples. For each proposition, determine whether it is a simple or compound proposition. If it is a compound proposition, identify the simple components. Express the following propositions in symbols, where P, Q, R, and S are defined as follows. Example number 1. Proposition P. JM is either tall or short. This is a compound proposition. The first proposition is JM is tall, which can be represented by A. And the second proposition is JM is short. The proposition P can be represented by A or B. So it is a combination of two propositions. So combining proposition A and proposition B with a logical connector or it will become a compound proposition P. JM is either tall or short. Example number two. If Zach will sleep early, then he will feel better. 
This is also a compound proposition. Proposition A will be Zach will sleep early. Proposition B is Zach will feel better. Combining these two propositions to become proposition P according to the given, it is in the form if A then B. That is why we have the given to be if Zach will sleep early, then he will feel better. Another example, Maru went to mall and bought a cake. This is also a compound proposition. Proposition A, Maru went to mall. Proposition B, Maru bought a cake. Since it is combined by and, then the compound proposition is in the form A and B. Another example, it is not the case that Nikki will go to the beach. This is a compound proposition. Proposition A, Nikki will go to the beach. But according to the given, it is not the case that Nikki will go to the beach. Therefore, it is in the form not A. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will talk about logic, specifically about root tables. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next video.